Hi, this is Katherine Sanders Reach at the Chicago Bar Association's Law Practice Management and Technology. Today we're talking about editing and removing endorsements, skills, and expertise in LinkedIn. Recently I did a program on optimizing your LinkedIn profile and many of the attorneys in the audience asked about whether endorsements were ethical and whether they were useful. So I want to show you a, different, a couple of different ways that you can edit, remove, and generally change those uh, skills, expertise, and endorsements so let's take a look. One thing I want to point out is that if you make your profile public in LinkedIn it will show up as probably one of the top results in Google. So for instance if I do a search for myself I that LinkedIn profile is the number one thing that you see. Without being logged into LinkedIn what anyone can see and what I've chosen for them to see is my profile. One of the things that you can see down here is my skills and expertise. Now it would appear that that was something that I had put, but we know from the way that skills and expertise work in LinkedIn, sometimes people suggest skills and expertise, and if you allow them, they show up. So this isn't necessarily something that I put in, but rather something that people might have endorsed me for. So I may not want that to show up in my public profile, so you can change that. I'm going to sign into LinkedIn. and then I'm going to go into my settings and I'm going to go to edit my public profile and here under make my public profile visible to everyone you can toggle on and off different bits of information about yourself such as your summary, uh, your education, the details and your skills and expertise. So if I uncheck this box you get a little green saved and if you scroll down you can see that that skills and expertise area is gone. Now that's for people who are not necessarily connected with you. If people are connected with you they get a richer sense of your profile so let's go take a look at that. So one thing you're probably gonna see when you you come into your profile is that a connection has endorsed you for new skills and expertise. Again, most of the skills and expertise in my profile I didn't actually submit. They were endorsed by other people for me. Now, I am not a lawyer, I don't practice corporate law, and I don't do licensing. So I would remove both of those. It also wants you to endorse your connections, and we'll skip that for now. If you want to be able to edit this section, and this is your skills and expertise se section, you can go up here and click on edit profile. And you'll notice that I have display my endorsements turned off. If I show them, this is what people see. So they see that I've been endorsed by 38 people for public speaking and who endorsed me. So you may or may not want that information to show so again you click on that. You can add and remove individual skills and expertise simply by clicking on this box to toggle it on and off. You can add new areas of expertise if you feel like someone's missed something that's vital to your profile. If I want to manage the endorsements of my skills and expertise then I can go to individual skills and expertise listings, show and or hide all the endorsements, or show and hide individual people. So I can make those changes. And finally, if I don't want to display endorsements at all, I say no, do not show my endorsements. It's still going to show those skills and expertise. If you don't want any of this to show, then what you can do again is just remove all of those. You can also drag these to reorder. And that's basically it with the skills and expertise. You can drag to rearrange in your profile as well. So if you want these to appear lower in your profile, you can. And that's how you manage skills, expertise, and endorsements in LinkedIn.